Nobu. I'm Chris. We're trying to make it across the country on a bus powered by used cooking oil. We're seeking out backyard innovators who build earth-friendly inventions that work. It's a road trip experiment where anything can happen. We're in Tucson, Arizona, on our way to check out the latest innovation in solar power. Holograms built right into the solar panel. We're gonna go check out Glenn Rosenberg's uh, invention. My understanding is that he's got a, a holographic layer that helps to uh, diffract light and make the solar panel more efficient. That's oh, so a new kind of PV panel? Yeah, he uses 85% less silicon in the panel. Holograms are three-dimensional images that bend light. We want to find out how Prism Solar uses this technology to improve the performance of their solar panels. Hello. Hi. Hey, I'm Chris. Glenn Rosenberg, welcome to Prism Solar. Yeah, we're cool. pretty curious. We've seen, you know, traditional silicon panels. We've seen cadmium telluride thin film panels. Right. This is a, we use a holographic technique, a holographic film. And the film itself is made not much different than a photographic film. But uh, using the power of holography to capture and redirect the light to the solar cells as a form of concentrator. How did you come up with this idea? My philosophy was, well, Silicon's expensive, all these other semiconductors are expensive. So concentration seemed like a logical thing to me. But when I found holography, I really realized that you could do something really unique with it because in a thin film that's just a fraction of the thickness of the thickness of our hair, I can record optics, very complex optics that can redirect the light. And so these modules will collect light over the full range of angles through the day and through the seasonal variation that changes. The same way you could make a hologram of, of uh, say, Chris here, you could make a hologram of a lens, and that hologram would focus light, just like it would look like. That's awesome. I had no idea that holograms could actually function. Right. You know? Like, that's really cool. Right. That's yeah. the beauty of it, is that they, if you make it of a functioning optical product, it functions that way. Come on in. This is our production floor. Prism Solar etches their holograms onto a plate of glass that's been coated with a light-sensitive thin-film gelatin, which is inexpensive to make and has none of the toxic chemicals found in other photographic material. So is that ready to be exposed? It would have to dry first, yeah. Okay. Here, follow me now, and I'll show you where we do the holographic imaging. Just grab always the film from the edges. The film is secured between glass slides and positions so we can hit it with a split laser beam. Just as you can make a hologram of a three-dimensional object, we're making one of a prism that will behave as a prism, separating light into its different colors. You can see that beam right now is all the particles in there. Right, I can see where the two um, circles of, of laser light eclipse each other and... Nice. Yeah, they're beautiful. This is our optics lab in here, and this is where we're doing most of our research. Uh, in this lab, we analyze and characterize the results of our finished holograms. Here, we just wanted to show you the part of different parts of the spectrum that we collect and how we uh, make use of the light. The colors of the spectrum which contribute the most solar power are bent by the hologram towards the solar panel. There's plenty of photon power in most of the spectrum, but towards the infrared end, the photons have less power, so those colors are directed away from the panels. And it's changing as you change right. the Deuce. angle. Right. So whereas a colored filter would be blocking certain wavelengths, right. you're using diffraction to allow certain wavelengths through. Right. And you're also able to change their direction. Exactly. And by changing the direction, you can concentrate them on the silicon cell. Right. Right. Less silicon can be used while maximizing the power of the sun's rays, whatever the weather. Well, look at a panel. It's late in the day, but our module's still producing power and driving a fan. Right now, as the sun is coming in and hitting these areas, which are not above the, the cell, Mm -hmm. Is it transferring the light over to the cell? Correct. The fact that you have the hologram in, in the panel is its own solar tracker. That's right. 
And that's huge. Trackers require maintenance. They're mechanical parts that ultimately fail. It's usually the panel is about the conservation, right? But now right. you sort of found a way to have conservation within it, which I think is it's interesting. It's like maximizing its ability to capture the light from all angles. Yeah, thanks for having us sure. uh, on the tour. All right. All right. Nice meeting Take you. Care. Nice meeting you. Take care. Have yeah, a safe trip. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.